Ladies, gentlemen, other, we are truly in the trenches today because today, New Year's Eve, day of all days, Creepshow Art decided to drop a new video. I'm going to go over some points in the video that were made by Shannon that did make me go, hmm, but that doesn't mean that I think Shannon is innocent or excused from anything. It's just easier to go over those few points than all the points that didn't make sense. And this is a two and a half hour video. I'm not going to go into a massive deep dive on every part of the video because again, it's New Year's Eve. I have places to be, people to see. That's a lie. I just, I just don't want to go into it, okay? I've been through the trenches with this. I have been gagging and gasping for air and fighting for my life. I do believe that True Sleuth, Ali, is going to be going into some inconsistencies in Shannon's video, so you can definitely check that out. And I think Petty Page kind of manifested this when she asked for a subject for a deep dive. The first thing I do want to bring up is Shannon does actually suggest an alternative for an explanation as to who exactly was following Emily about online, if you get my drift. Now, I'm a little bit unclear on this first part because Emily Artful did have a channel called Emily Sugarfruit, but I don't know if that's a separate channel from the Emily Artful channel or if she simply renamed Emily Sugarfruit to Emily Artful. It's probably explained in the video, but give me a break. It was two and a half hours long and I watched it in one go and I am not going back. I am not going back, okay? I value my mental health. On this channel, there was a particular video in which Emily reviewed a One Piece episode, Stark Naked in the Bathtub, which is something I never thought I would ever say. But the anime bros in the anime bro community weren't too keen on this. They didn't like the fact that she was just starkers in the bath while reviewing One Piece and a few of them voiced this saying that they didn't like what she was doing and they thought she was using her body to get more views and some of them were in fact going after her for it. Shannon also brings up the fact that Emily was actually showing her location, either mentioning where she worked, posting her whereabouts on ads on Craigslist, and was tagging her location on Instagram and therefore theorises that the anime bros caught wind of her video and then managed to find some things out about her based on the things she was posting. I will say this does support, not necessarily prove, but support two things. Number one, she wasn't receiving harassment just as she was beginning the Emily Artful channel which is what Emily claims in her video series. She states that she only started to really get problems on YouTube on her Emily Artful channel, and therefore she thought it was Anthony, but this isn't true. She has socials linking her either to both channels or she just changed the name of the channel. It also supports the idea that other people might have been privy as to her location because she does say it a few times she mentions the california bay area i know that's not the exact wording but i'm not american i'm not californian and i'm not going to go back and look for that part of the video because i am exhausted but she definitely mentions the bay area in which she's in and that was public and therefore it could have been these anime bros going after her while it does provide a reasonable substitute or explanation, it doesn't exclude Shannon and Anthony from participating in the harassment whatsoever. I do believe that these anime bros might have been part of it. I think that's a bit more believable than just two people for the amount that she was getting. But it doesn't prove that Shannon and Anthony didn't see that and then went along with it too and joined in. It doesn't disprove that they didn't harass Emily. Another part that Emily makes the claim of is a friend of Shannon and Anthony's or an associate of Shannon and Anthony's called Bryce. She makes the claim in the video that he was a Joker obsessed person who was slightly unhinged and had conversations with Anthony about pew pewing up an educational institution and also happened to perhaps own some weaponry. 
Shannon counters this by saying that Bryce is merely a movie buff and just happens to like the character of the Joker and is also kind of nerdy. He doesn't own weaponry, but he does own prop weapons. That is a reasonable explanation. However, Shannon doesn't counter the claim Emily makes about the conversation. She doesn't confirm or deny it. And there are many ways that this can go. This conversation could have well happened, but it could have just been those two having an edgy boy conversation and Emily didn't actually believe they were serious and simply said it to make associates of Shannon look worse. Or because of what she was going through with Anthony and she was very paranoid, she took it literally. Those are the only points in Shannon's two and a half hour video that I can go, hmm, maybe that is a possible explanation. But these possible explanations aren't enough to say that Shannon didn't do the things that Shannon's been accused of doing. And I had a real problem with the end of the video where Shannon tells everybody to F off and Tipster in particular. Now, girl, listen. Let's say this entire video did in fact prove your innocence and it was bulletproof. Even so, if that video contained all the evidence we needed, we didn't have that at the time the allegations were being levied at you. We didn't have that. And you were telling your friends, including Tipster, not to defend you. So to turn around and tell everybody else to F off is unhinged. You provided zilch zero nothing and even if Emily's evidence was circumstantial at times, it was still more than what you were showing. How exactly were you expecting people to respond after you show no evidence and then also tell them not to defend you? You also do not go over any of the lolcow posts or anything to do with what originally got you exposed. This video was just going over everything that Emily ever did in her younger years and didn't prove much. And the only thing that I can definitely get on board with you and say, yeah, that is, that is solidly wrong because Emily herself confirmed it was that age gap of the 13 year old with her when she was 17. And that still has nothing to do with the situation between you and Emily. This video was purely to take Emily down with you. And I think you know that. And I think you know that I know that you know that. You actually show that you were in fact somewhat in one way, shape or form following Emily about because you have so much dirt on her from when she was younger. The only things you have are some one or two reasonable alternatives or explanations that could possibly show a different side of what was happening but failed to solidly prove it and you have a statement or two where you say there were loads of eyewitnesses but failed to bring a single one forward you also have we could show all of our phone records our phone records would show that but don't show your phone records it truly baffles me that you spent two and a half hours repeating pretty much the same things a lot of the time, you make like three solid points, but they aren't even really supported by anything. And it's just sandwiched together with a whole lot of nonsense and things that I don't understand how you thought this was a good point. And there you go, guys. That's like the three points in Shannon's video out of the entire two and a half hours that I thought were reasonable and possible explanations to the contrary of what Emily was saying and even then they're not solidly backed up and they don't prove anything. I'm gonna go and make myself a hot chocolate and pray that this absolute insanity ends right here with this video and that Shannon doesn't come back. I do have a feeling that this is Shannon's way of saying if you F me I'm gonna F you right back and we can just hope and pray that's the end of it. <sighs> I hope you guys have a nice new year, stay safe, stay happy, and I will see you again soon. Bye.